Hey guys, I'm Amit Kumar and welcome to this video in which we are going to talk about logical and ternary operator. Now logical operators are also binary operators but one of the logical operator is unary as well. So we can say they are binary as well as unary. They perform a comparison of the result of the relational operations. So you can compare the result of relational operation. So we know relational operation itself is a comparison. So whensoever you want to combine more than one relational operations, logical operator comes into play and R are binary operators and perform comparison. Whereas not is a unary operator which complements the result. So for example, you can see we have combined here these conditions with AND operator. So the result of these conditions can be true or false. So with AND, when both the result is true, AND will give the result as true. But if any of the result is false, AND will give the result as false. If we do the same with R, so if any of the result is true, if both of them are true, it will return true. If any one of them are true, it will return true but it will return false if both of them are false. Hence, an AND operator returns true only if both the conditions return true, otherwise it returns false. An R operator returns true if any of the condition return true, otherwise it returns false. Whereas, a NOT operator works on single condition and that's why known as unary operator and it returns true if the condition is false and vice versa. So, if the given condition is true and we are using NOT operator, the final result will be false. If the given condition is false with NOT operator, the final result will be true. Ternary operator. Ternary operator acts as a shorthand for the IF ELSE statement and definitely these statements are yet to be discussed but let's see how the shorthand operator can be used. It is known as ternary operator as it works on three operands. Syntax of a ternary operator is like this. So you can see there are three operands over here. First, the condition, then a question mark, then a true expression, then a colon and finally a false expression. And how it works? If the given condition is true, it will return the true expression. If the given condition is false, it will return an expression at the position of false. So anything between question mark and colon will be returned if the condition is true and anything after the colon will be returned if the condition is false. For example, if there are two integer variables var1 and var2 with value 10 and 5 and we want to find out the larger of the two number, we can use a condition operator over here. We can write var1 is greater than var2 and if this condition is true var1 will be returned otherwise var2 will be returned and where we are returning the value of var1 or the value of var2 we are returning it into a variable larger. So the larger variable will hold the value of var1 if var1 is greater than var2 otherwise it will hold the value of var2. So it's pretty much of talk of logical operators and ternary operators. Now it's time to see the things practically. So guys, here we are in our developer console and let's create a program for logical operator. So guys, here's the program and you can see I have created three different variables var1, var2 and var3. And here I have used different relational operators along with logical operator to show you the final result. So let's see the result. So guys, you can clearly see here when both the conditions are true with and then only it is returning true for rest of the cases it is returning false when we are using r when any of the condition is true it is returning true otherwise the final result is false and with not it is complementing the result when the condition is false it is returning true when the condition is true it is returning false so guys let's see a program of ternary operator now guys it's the same program that we have discussed in the slide so let's see how it is returning the larger number. The interesting thing is I am not assigning value to var1 and var2 directly. Instead of that, I have passed the value as parameter to show method and when I will call this show method, I will pass these two integers where the first one will be assigned to var1, the second one will be assigned to var2. So no matter in what order I am passing the value, this program will always print the larger value. So when I am running the program, I have to pass the value. So let me pass this time 125 and let's run. And guys, you can see the larger number is 100. 
let me run this program one more time with a different set of values so this time i am passing 100 and 1000 and let's execute and now you can see the larger number is 1000 so no matter in what order you are passing the value what value you are passing it will always print the larger number so that marks the end of this video see you soon in the next video till then thank you and take care